Hey guys, how's it going? It's Janie over here at Janie Sweets and in this episode I'm coming at you with a recipe for how I made passion fruit curd and this filling is perfect for any kind of cake fillings, any kind of pies or tarts. So if you want to learn how to make it, keep on watching. So we're going to cook this in a double boiler method. So what that means is you have a pot on a stove with a little bit of water at the bottom, bring it to a simmer and then put on a um, heat resistant um, bowl at the top. I'm using metal but you can use whatever you want that is heat resistant. Um, then I'm going to dump in all my egg yolks and my egg whites or my whole eggs. So that's 10 egg yolks, 2 whole eggs and then 1 cup of granulated sugar and I'm going to whisk everything together until it is nice and smooth. Once that's done, I am going to add in one cup of my passion fruit concentrate. Now, before anybody asks, no, you cannot use passion fruit juice. It needs to be passion fruit concentrate, and I will link for you guys below where I find mine. I bought it off of Amazon. Um, then you're just going to let it simmer a little bit, but you really want to keep an eye on it and constantly whisk it so that it does not cook your eggs, um, especially on the sides. As you can see, I'm kind of scraping off the sides and the bottom. And what you're looking for is to cook it very gently, very slowly until it starts becoming thin thick so um, as you can see as I'm going it's gonna become thicker and thicker in the beginning when we first started it was very liquidy but after about um, like 10-15 minutes this is how it looks like it looks a little bit um, thicker you can stop there but for a cake I want it to be a little bit firmer so I'm gonna go a little bit um, more uh, with the cooking so in total I've probably cooked this for about 20 to 25 minutes and then it was the perfect consistency but keep in mind you have to stay with this pot you cannot leave it because it will cook on the sides and then you're just gonna ruin your curd so once it's at that consistency it kind of looks like baby food or applesauce this is when I like to stop and then just remove it from the heat and then add in half a stick of butter and then I'm just going to mix everything together until the butter melts because this is still warm the butter is gonna melt melt very quickly and don't worry too much about the lumps that you see it's gonna smooth out once I um, mix in the butter so just constantly stir it until all of the butter has melted inside of your curd and then it should be good to go. So once it's there, you can just go ahead and preserve it however you'd like. I like to use mason jars, um, it's just easier. You can pop this right into the fridge and it'll last for a pretty long time. I normally make it the night before I'm going to use it for a cake just to give it a little time to settle um, and get a little bit firmer in the refrigerator. So that is it you guys. This is how I make my passion fruit curd and like I said, this is the filling that I used for my uh, gold drip cake. that. All of you guys wanted to know how I made so this is it I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial as always if you click on this annotation right over there you can check out my last video all of my socials are at Janie Sweets I am on Instagram as well as on Facebook subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss out on any of my future videos so that is it for this week's tutorial guys love you I'll talk to you next time